thick as that. Go on. Okay. Move this out of the way. So, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my updated everyday makeup routine. I did change a little bit of things. I have added some new makeup to my routine. So let's go ahead and get right to it. So the first thing that I usually start off with is the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I'm really loving this because it really hydrates my under eyes. Because my under eyes have gotten like really dry like, all of a sudden because it is summer now. So I want to keep my face as hydrated as I possibly can. I'm using a tripod right now on my phone. So it's very weird. So it doesn't feel like it's like straight at all. So if it's a little bit like that, you know why. So I'll pump this on the back of my hand. I'm going to usually use a sponge to do this with. Where is it? Okay. I'm just going to use this one. Because I just cleaned all of these. Wait, I've been... So I, yeah, I just cleaned all of these and they smell really good. I need to get new sponges because all I have are these ones right here. These are all I have. These two little small ones, the pink ones, and then I have a silicone sponge or whatever the heck it is. A contour sponge down here. A highlighting blending sponge right here. Sealer sponge, which is the orange one, and then another foundation sponge right here. And I keep them all in here because I, whenever I um, do my sponges and everything, I clean them and everything, I always put them in this container after I've like dampened them and everything because it keeps them damp for a little while but also I realize now it creates bacteria in the sponges so I only do it like once a day so I keep them like, I like, I clean them once a day so yeah you guys can tell but I don't fall please don't fall. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I have dyed my hair. Again, it might not show up really, really well on camera, but it is a little bit darker than what I had last time. I mean, it's the same one, but um, or it's the same color that I dyed the last time, but this one, this, for some reason, the color now took a lot better than the, than the last time I did it. So... Right on top of my eyes. Okay. So there's that. And then I usually go in. I have like all these primers right here because I like don't know which ones I want to use for the day. So I'm actually gonna go in now with my Heart Candy Sure Envy Stick It to Pores Mattifying Pour Primer Stick and push that into like I just use it on my cheeks usually because a lot of these primers I put in like a specific area just to help my foundation stick and everything so I usually just put this one like on my cheeks on my nose and everything just to fill in my pores I really would like to get um, the Tatcha silk canvas primer again I love this stuff I got the little trial size last time or like a sample size no yeah try us that trial size one from Sephora when I got it, like my Sephora packages and everything. And uh, I really, really love that primer. I tried to use it as little as possible, so I only used it when I did full glam makeup. But I do full glam almost like once a day. <laughs> but I haven't really worn makeup in like two days, so that's another thing. <laughs> blend it with my fingers okay so next I usually use my Farsali Unicorn Essence I love this stuff so so much it's just it's beautiful I love it I got this on the Wish app actually for about am I almost out I'm like down to here I think so it looks like no I love this so much. I'm gonna try to order another one off of the wish app but I got this one off the wish no I got it off of cute there's two separate apps when they're like the same like search engine or whatever but 
Yeah. It's like the same search engine and everything. Or powered by the same like company or companies or whatever. And um so either Wish or Cute. I think Wish has a lot more like clothes and just gadgets and different stuff like that. And then Cute has like makeup basically. Makeup, skincare, hair accessories, nail stuff. A few clothes and like bathing suits and everything too. Um so yeah, I should get that's where I got this one from, bro. Like no, I got the free one, but it, was, it ended up being like a dollar for shipping. And it actually came, actually I got a refund for it because it didn't come by the, the date it said it was going to come by. So I asked for a refund and I got my money back for it and it, but it's still sent. A lot of the products that I have, that I have had from Wish or Cute, um, I have requested refunds from because they never sent. But, like, a few days later, I'll get the product, and I'll be like, oh, but looks like I got my money back. So now I'm going in with my um, Vitalist Healthy Glow Illuminator. What is this? Is this CoverGirl? I think this is CoverGirl. I'm pretty sure this is CoverGirl. I don't know. It doesn't say on the package, which is, like, really weird. But it is the Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter or Illuminator. I use this, use this like right on my cheek area when needed to give my skin a little bit extra glow from underneath. And then tying in with the highlighter, I'm also going to be using my True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Highlighter um, Prime and Highlight. I love this stuff so much. I use, I saw um, Nikki Tutorials put like a highlighter underneath or like a like an illuminator underneath of her foundation and everything, and it like really like made her foundation and everything just so much prettier. I guess use my fingers, blend it in. Okay, let me take this off. Because I don't want to get any makeup or anything on my sweatshirt. Okay, okay. So there's that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking um, this. It is my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Total Cover like Color Corrector. I use this stuff like daily. Usually, um, I put this back into here because then I use this sponge after I use my one of my brushes. Where'd it go? Where's it? Where'd it go? There it is. Take this brush and swirl it around on the red color. And place that one underneath my under under eyes like a triangle shape except that it says a little on the back of it, it's like in a triangle shape right here that. wipe off the brush then go in with the yellow it says put it on the top, or like on my lid, basically. I'm gonna look like a clown by the time I'm done putting my color corrector on. Okay. Now for the green. Put it on the spots where I need to cover up 
or to neutralize the red, my red spots and everything. Then taking the purple concealer, adding it to spots of my face where I need like the lifting. I think or brightening brightens dullness. So any place where it's just like dull, I guess. Or brightening. I used to use this as a brightener at the time. So that. And I'm gonna take my damp sponge and I'm just blending that in. Now it doesn't cover it completely, it just neutralizes it. Then once I put my, my foundation and concealer on top of it, it, it covers it up a lot better. Blend that out. I know what you all been wondering why I haven't been uploading lately. I have taken a little bit of a break from recording and everything. Mainly because I haven't really had many ideas of what like to record and everything. So that's why I took a little break because I was like thinking of ideas and everything and watching other people's YouTube videos like Manny Amy Way, Laura Lee, James Charles and get, just getting ideas from them and what's like trending and everything. So that way I can upload a video that's unedited because y'all know I don't have the resources to edit yet I mean I do I have a laptop but it, I just don't think I can put my video from my phone to my laptop and I probably could somehow I tried one time and it just didn't really work out that well it didn't like it wouldn't import over but the last time I tried it, um, I was able to get it to transfer over, but putting it into my editing software, it wasn't really, didn't really work out that well. Here. So hopefully I can figure that out for you guys and hopefully get some edited videos up that are, that cut this like hour long video into like 15 minutes. So. Next thing I'm going to do, foundation. So I've been using the Tarte um, Shape Tape Matte Foundation in the shade Light Medium Neutral, which is a little bit, is a shade like too tan for me. And then I've also, I've mixed in this foundation, the Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation in, what's this shade? Pretty sure it's the lightest one that I got. And this is a um, dollar store foundation, but it works really well. So what I'm going to do, what I, what I usually do is I take the Shape Tape foundation and I put it in the hollows of my face. And then I blend it out with my 185 complexion brush. I do, I, I do it in small spots first and then I just work it in because it does dry fast because it is a matte foundation so I just do it in small spots and then I just stipple it to blend everywhere and then I'll put the lighter foundation on like my high points and everything and then I'll take the shape tape foundation again and then just go in with just dotting it and then blending it that way and it creates like a really nice uh, color for me almost match my skin tone but also little it looks good with my dark hair and everything because you guys remember how light my hair used to be if you've been subscribed since I was like a freshman in high school. Um, you all know how light my hair got or how my, how light my hair used to be and everything. So. So, what are some I, like videos you guys want me to do with my boyfriend? I want to start doing some videos with him. I'm going to try to do some vlogs. Not car vlogs. Like, walking around. Because I have, do have tripod. 
that I can use. I can like live stream my vlogs and everything. If you guys want to see that, um, let me know which channel you guys want me to put it on. I can either put it on my beauty channel or I can put it on my vlog channel that I'm going to be creating at some point. Um, you can see that it's a little bit too dark for me. That's why I use it in the, in the contours of my face first. Then I take the lighter foundation. So I just squeeze a, the tiniest bit on the back of my hand because this foundation is a bit... This may look like a little bit, but it's a lot for my skin. So, not the sponge, this one, this one. I'm going to take it and just blend it everywhere else that I don't have the shape tape. This foundation is just moisturizing, but it doesn't really have that well of coverage, I want to say. I mean, it has some coverage, it has like light to medium, but it's not really covering up much. So yeah, back to the videos about me, with me and my boyfriend. What kind of videos would you guys like to see? Leave them in the comments down below. Um, so I have done videos in the past with some of my ex-boyfriends and I, but I have since deleted those videos. Um, for obvious reasons. But, now that I have a new best friend, so to speak, um, I really want to start doing videos with him occasionally. Not like every week or anything. But, okay, so there's that. But then I just take this foundation again, the shape tape one, and then I will literally just dot it on my face and just blend it out like that. I'm really hoping my video, this live stream, does not like. Get, like deleted or anything because the last times I tried to upload a video they have like stopped and then like they didn't upload like I couldn't upload or they like stopped like right in the middle of what I was doing and I just never uploaded them because they weren't like full finished videos that just really makes me mad and I don't know why that was happening because my videos before then were like perfectly fine so I don't know what was going on? Okay, blending that in. That's, that's looking a little bit better. So I'm going to take my sponge and just continue to blend all over with the rest of my base. I really do need to get these sponges though. Shut this before it falls over and I lose it. I'm hoping to get like a tan this summer so that way I can actually use this foundation on my face and not have to mix any other foundations with it. Because this shade is like a little bit too tan for me. It's like, it's this shade and then it's like light medium is the, is the next lighter shade. And it, that one was a little bit too light for me. And I wasn't about to get two $40 foundations just 
to mix, honestly. Okay, so there's that. So now, where's my, there it is. Yet yeah, a few days ago I forgot to put um, concealer on and it actually looked decent. But I usually like using concealer because it brightens up my under eyes and it just looks better. So today I'm going to be using my Maybelline New York Fit Me. Where is this Fit Me? Because it doesn't say it. Does it not? Nope. But I'm using, it is the Fit Me Fun uh, Concealer in number 5 Ivory. And I think this is the lightest one. So I'm going to go ahead and put it like in my inner corners like that. And underneath my eye. And on the side of my nose as well. On the other side as well. When I first started using this concealer, it like almost, it was like burning my under eyes. And it was like the weirdest thing. But now I've gotten used to it and it's not burning me at all. And it has good coverage, but not shape tape coverage or like NARS coverage or anything like that but it does it is a good full coverage concealer that's from the drugstore so I really do like this concealer I also have another one that's from Maybelline where'd it go up oh, here it is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch um highlighting concealer this has a little bit of highlight in concealer but it's not full coverage so it's like Something you'd wear like underneath of your eyes or like over top of some like, um, like you put over top of your like acne or anything. And it <sighs> covers it a little bit. And it's like for like a natural look. That's what I usually use it for. Okay. So now that that's done there, I'm going to take my sponge again and just blend that in. Now I have taken some steps that James Charles does in his makeup routines and everything, or his, in his makeup routine, um, like putting the concealer down the nose on the sides of the nose and everything to snatch the nose. If I can find a comfortable spot, I need a new chair. That's what I need. I might move this poster so I can have like a nice better background, but I want to get like a um, backdrop kind of thing. Okay, you guys can see the corner. Okay, this is the corner right here. I literally moved my desk around because like over up here it has another poster. I have my Descendants 2 poster with Malik Neeby on it. And I didn't like the placement of it because my desk was like turned this way. And I didn't like the placement of it because you can see my door in the background. Or like in the yeah the background and everything and it just didn't look good so I just moved my desk around and every time I want to like dance or something or whatever I move this desk back against the wall and it creates a little floor for me so it's like killing two birds with one stone that's how I see it Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my CoverGirl True Blend Contour Palette. I only use the um, bronzer and then the contour. I really don't use the highlight that much because it is um, medium. That's what it says for medium like skin tones and everything. And I this one was on clearance, so this one was three dollars. Um, but I couldn't find. The lighter, a light one. I mean, I could have, but it would probably would have been like twelve dollars, twelve dollars, or six, or whatever. So I usually just take this brush right here, and then use my Wet n Wild brush. It's the contour brush. I don't. You can just barely see the lettering on there still because I've just used it so much. So I use it right here. Just 
blend that in. I love using cream contours on the summer. Mainly because it just gives you a better glow, I want to say. But it also it just blends out better. I mean, I do use my um, Shave Light Palette from Kat Bundy after I put powder on and everything and I bake and whatnot. Um, I do use that still. But another one that I have been using, which is like so similar to the Shade and Light Palette, is the Koki or Kooky. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, Laura Lee pronounced, pronounced it as Koki or Kooky. Yeah, it's Kooky how she pronounced it but it is like like look how similar that is to shade and light palette I mean come on look at that I mean the pans might be the same size on this side but they're like just so similar I mean the colors may be a little bit different like the, it's warmer on the contour down here on this one than it is on that one the very end but the highlight shades and everything are just they're just so similar so I usually use this one when I want to go a little bit lighter on the contour and everything. But today I'm going to be using my Shade and Light Palette, as always. And this one, the Shade and Light Palette, has little like holes at the back of it. And has refillable pots for, I think it was what, 14? I think some of them, I think it's 14. I can't remember how, what the price is. But I won't be running out of these anytime soon. that underneath my jawline and then I usually just take the contour color a little bit darker brown on my um is it this brush yes yeah, this brush I use it on this flat brush right here and I use it to contour my nose okay so there's that um, so now I'm going to take it, take the color, and contour my nose. I feel like cream contours are better for contouring your nose and everything because they're just like, they glide on just so easily and you can just put them exactly where you want to. And they're just easier, a little bit easier to blend out. With the, with the right brush, they're easier to blend out. Right, 27 minutes. Oh, joy. Okay, so there's that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking my Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder from Maybelline. This stuff is like the best powder ever. Honestly, in my opinion, this is like one of the greatest drugstore powders like ever. I'm taking my fluffy brush and just setting everything with it. Everything that's on my face. You, and you don't even need a lot of powder either. It just like sticks to the brush and distributes like really well. And if, when you're done, it your face is just so smooth because it like blurs and smooths and perfects. And it's just it's a great uh, translucent. And it is translucent. It only comes in this color. Um. But it is a great powder. I think it's seven dollars, seven ninety nine. I want to say, but I'm not hundred percent sure. And this is like literally like probably my third or fourth container of it because they don't you don't get much product in it. I mean, I've had this for maybe like a week, week and a half maybe, and I'm already like running low. But another powder that I do like using is um this one right here it is the la colors um pressed powder in beige i normally don't use pressed powders but this one is like i'm impressed i love this powder if you would just want like a little bit of coverage stick it on your face foundation under foundation or just bare face and it just works really well okay 
So there's that. So now what I'm going to do, what's I gonna do? Contour, okay. So I'm going to be taking my contour brush, wherever it is, my R14 brush, and I'm going to dip it into the color Sombre right here, and then contour my face with it. I feel like this side's a lot darker than this side, and I don't know why. I'm pretty sure it's because of the lighting, because I do have a light here and a light up there. I swear there was powder in my eye. Anyways, um, so I have a, like a lamp over here that has like an outlet with it and everything, and something that like turns, like a little organizer. I might have to get another one of those or change the light bulb out on this one because. I do have, I think this one is an LED one, on this one is a light bulb, but it doesn't have like a, it's like a lamp, but it doesn't have like the shade on it and everything, so I might have to get another one of these uh, lamps, that's to the left of me, to make it brighter, because I do have my, my ceiling light on and my window open, um, but it's not really that sunny outside. So, I don't, I'm sorry, but if, it's, if it is dark, I know I can see it on the camera now, it is darker on this side, you can definitely tell, but I'm hoping to fix that soon. Okay, so now that that's it, I'm going to take my flat brush again, taking the same color, and then contour my nose more. The powder kind of covered up the nose contour just a little bit. Okay, so there's that. So now I'm going to take my uh, blending sponge and I'm going to take this color right here, this one, uh, Lucid, and I'm going to, well, wait a second, because I need to put on my blush first. I'm going to be using my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Feisty. I love this blush. It is like just a really good blush. I love it. I got this in my Ipsy bag maybe like the first time I got uh, a bit of an Ipsy bag. And I've just been using it since. And I use, only use it in moderation because it, there's only a little bit of product in it. It's, it's just so pretty. I... I I love it. And you only need a little bit because it just glides right on and it looks just so pretty. So now I can take the color Lucid. It's a highlight and I'm going to set my under eyes with it. With a damp beauty sponge. This also helps my eyes, uh, like brighten my eyes up and everything. And then I'm going to carve out my jaw. There we go. So now, I'm going to let that sit, and then I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I use my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I'm going to have to get another one soon, because a piece of it broke off the other day, and all I'm left with is this final product. And I'm like so sad and everything, because I love this brow pencil. This one and the Anastasia Bravely Hills Brow Wiz are like my favorite right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill in my eyebrows as normally. Or as normal. I do need to get my eyebrows done though. I tried to do them a few days ago. But it didn't work.
oh my, I'm hitting my scar. Every time I do my right eyebrow, like I'm hitting my scar. Because when I was younger, I was, I got, I tripped. Uh, it was in school. And we were outside playing kickball. And someone was running behind me. My shoelaces were untied. And we were running around the bases or whatever. Because that's how, apparently how elementary school is to see how you play kickball. You run around so many times and I don't know but yeah we were playing kickball and I was running and um there was a girl behind me my shoelaces were untied and she stepped on them and I tripped and I was wearing like metal glasses at the time and they went up I, I tripped scraped my chin all up I got a whole bunch of cuts and scrapes all over my arms and legs and my glasses went into my eyebrow and made a huge gash in it and at one point I had like very little eyebrow hair right here so it was like horrible but now I can literally just feel my scar it's like really weird don't mind the background noise I can't do anything about it I feel like my left eyebrows, like, or my right one is, like, thicker, but I add a little bit more product to it because it's very sparse. But it'll look good in a little second. I feel like my brother's about to start playing his Xbox and I'm going to scream. It's raining again. It has been raining since like Wednesday and it's now Saturday like it's insane okay so there's that and I usually don't use the spoolie that comes with this because it has I've been using it and it has a lot of product on it and I don't use that so I'm going to take a few of my uh, jointed brushes or spoolies and everything and I'm going to use not that one not this one I'm gonna use my elf one because I got this for like three dollars and actually I had to fix it because this part here was coming off so I fixed it with a little bit of E6000 glue I'm just gonna show you guys real quick uh, you guys can barely even see it there we go. It's like coming down. It looks like hail. I've got to fix the camera again. Okay, so I'm going to spoolie up my brush. It looks like hail, I swear. Heck. Okay. My eyebrow does look a little bit weird, but just roll with it. Cause I need to get them down. They look like caterpillars. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely tell I need to get them done, cause like this part here. Should not be filled in. It should be nice and look straight. Okay. That's that. So now I'm going to use my Fit Me Concealer on my lid again. I'm at 40 minutes. Hopefully it won't stop at one hour. And if everyone in the background can just be quiet. Just for like... 20 more minutes, that would be great. Go.
Okay, so now I'm going to be using my Swapped Glam Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. My favorite palette ever. And I'm going to do a look based on what I used to do um, back when I first got this palette. I did a look that was just so simple. Everything. So I'm taking the color temp Tempera. It's, this, it's that light, like white, off-white color right here. I need another color like this. Cause I don't know if Anastasia Beverly Hills, they sell like singles in that color because that's like my favorite color just to set my concealer and everything with or my primer and everything it is like one of my favorite colors it's just it highlights really well and it's just so freaking pretty okay so there's that so now i'm going to take a few of my brushes It's just these two. I'm going to be using my M573 brush and taking the color Dusty Rose. It's just the color right below it, right below Tempera. Take that color and I'm going to put it right in my crease. I use it as a transition shade. I usually bring the color like right down to here, like near the bridge of my nose because it makes my eyes look a little bit like deeper set and everything. Bring it down to my outer corner. So once that's blended, uh, blended in and all nice and smooth, I'm going to be taking the color Rose Pink. This is this like shimmery kind of color here. I'm going to place that right on top of the Dusty Rose color. I know it seemed a little bit light to put into a crease, but this adds so much dimension to my eyes. It's just so freaking pretty. And then the outer corner as well. Okay. So now I'm going to be taking my R39 brush. There's another, this is my tapered blending brush. I'm going to be taking the color Sultry. It's like deep, shimmery, uh, purpley, maroon color. Yes, because that's how to describe it. Tap a little bit of the excess off. I'm going to place this right on my outer corner. I wanted to do like a yellowy, orangey, like reddish like look today but that's gonna, gonna take up way too much time and I don't really have that much time anyways blend that out it does have a little bit of fallout with this color that's why I'm taking my Morphe and Brett, Morphe X Bretman highlighter it's supposed to be a highlighter brush but it's a fan brush and fan brushes aren't supposed to be used put on highlight in my opinion but you know all right so now i'm going to be taking the color uh, mulberry which is this really deep uh, maroon color i want to place it on my outer corner just blend it in right there so it, it deepens up my eyes a lot and it just makes it super pretty let you take it right here too. There we go. That's super pretty. There we go. Okay, 
So there's that. So now I'm going to be taking my flat tip brush or my M210 brush and take um, tempera again and put it right on my lid where that space was. I think I'm just going to leave it at that because I don't really want any glitter or anything today. Blend that out. I'm going to take the same tapered brush and I'm going to fix right here. So now, set that to the side, I'm going to use a color from my LA Colors eyeshadow palette in nude. I'm going to be taking this color right here, this light cream color. I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone. Put some of my inner corner as well. That. So now I'm going to go in with eyeliner and I'm going to be using my Sephora eyeliner. I need to get another one of these. I really do. Um, so I'm going to tight line my eyes. I can hear my brother playing his games. I hear I can hear his friends in the other room. He's like, he's that way. And it's annoying. Like, it really annoys me. So, now I'm going to go in with to do mascara. That's my mascara that I use. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. So there's that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my mascaras. I use four mascaras, which I know you probably shouldn't. But these four give like the my best lashes like ever. And I just love it so much. So the mascaras that I'm using is the Lash Power Extension Visible Mascara. I'm using the Mood Struck 3D Fiber Lashes, the Gel Transplant, and there's like little fibers in this one. Um, and everything from previous applications. I'm using also the Sila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And then to top it all off, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. So I'm going to take this one right here and just apply it to my lashes. And you guys will see how good it looks once I'm done. Got to add color underneath my lashes. Frick. Okay, I'm just gonna finish my lashes off like this. Or I'm gonna finish my lashes and then I'm going to go ahead and finish my under eyes. I'm gonna wait to do the lashes on the side so I can fix my under under eyes. Just a little bit. So I've got to add the dark mulberry color that I was going to add you guys can see why I love this so much I'm 
I have to wait for it to dry. So I'm going to set these down right here. And I'm going to take my M210 brush again, taking the color Mulberry on the very edge of it. And I'm going to go underneath of my lash line with this color. So that's that. So I'm going to continue my lashes really quick, and I have 50, I have like nine minutes to finish this. Either. So this is gonna fall. Yeah, you guys can definitely see how well. My lashes look now. Oh yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and wipe away that highlight that's underneath of there and blend it in. So now I'm going to take something in my eye. No. Okay. So I'm going to take my highlighting brush. I'm going to be using the rose palette from Bad Habits. And I'm going to be wearing this champagne color right here. I'd actually have to fix this because this fell um, from my door back there. Oh yeah. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of the color bubbly right next to it and then just add that on top another gold shade so if you dust everything away now any particles or any loose product that's left dust it all away okay so now for lips I'm going to be using liner we're using this lip liner don't know the color but it's a 12 pack that I got so it's like a maroon no not maroon like a purpley kind of color I'm going to line my lips I think I'm gonna go for a light color lip 
liquid lipstick for today. Okay. So I'm going to be taking my um, Nice Face liquid lipstick in Silk Indulgence, which is the number one light color, and apply that all over my lips. So now I'm going to set everything in place using my, um, that's not what it is, but I used, um, aloe vera gel, witch hazel, a little bit of water, and then some essential oil drops. And this helps with, like, waterproofing your makeup and everything, and I love using this because it just, it works really well. I'm spread it all over my face. So, and that's it for my updated makeup routine for summer and everything. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave me a, little, a thumbs up and a comment down below telling me if you guys enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to leave me any comments of any video ideas that you want me to do. Um, anything with my boyfriend or anything you guys want me to do, like, by myself or anything. So, leave them in the comments down below if you guys have any video suggestions. And also, don't forget to hit subscribe down below. And also, hit the bell for post notifications so you guys get updated when I upload a new video or do a live stream like this one. That's it. I hope you guys do it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!